Hello YouTube, we're here again with another guide. This one is going to be for your Crisis Dungeon runs. Alright, so as long as you go through all the story, you will eventually unlock dungeons. You will unlock your standard dungeons first. You want to complete all these on both areas. When you select the information, the enemies that you fight will all be revealed for you. As well as the map. Okay. Now, something of note when you go through the normal ones, there is four hidden characters the Maca Reactor 1 is in the utility access, and it's up here. With that, defeat enemy character, that is hidden. The utility access, up here. There's not one in area 2, there's one in each normal zone. Then there's not a cactor in this one. It is in area two. Let me double check. Yeah, it's in, in here. And it's at the back here. And then the coast. Again, all the enemies you fight are automatically revealed. And then this one's obtain all rare items. So you just gotta open the chests as you're going through. The cactus should be in this one. Yep. And then this cactus is all the way around at the back here. Make sure you go get that one. Then the sea cave, same thing. This one's the cactus in it. And this one is up here. So that's where the cactus are for your normal runs. So. Once you've done that, you move on to your Crisis Dungeons. You will start with doing them, completing them all in S+, plus on Normal first. This is really important because you need your recipes for your materials. So, what I suggest is don't spend one of your tickets unless you know you can complete it with S+, plus rank, so you can get all the rewards. Because you're limited to three tickets per week that reset on a Sunday. You can get six more tickets if you pay for them with blue crystals. They're limited to six per week. But you ideally want to use your free tickets. So don't use your free ticket unless you can clear it on S Plus to get all your rewards. First do them on normal and then do them on hard. Once you do that, you move to very hard. This one's only on D because I use one of my tickets to scout the enemies. So when you go through these, The only information you will see on what you're fighting is the actual boss. Everything else will be come up as a question mark. So, we're going to go through each of these ones. I'm going to show you the enemy information. So you know what element and what sigil breaks you need as you're going through. I will show you as well for the immunity, their immunities and their attacks. Feel free to pause as we're going along if you need to see the information. Alright, that's for normal. And then we'll do the same for hard. These are the enemies you'll be fighting. Alright, if you wanted to always make sure what, which one is the actual boss. Alright, you just come round to the last one. You start there, round. It's always the one at the end, and it says boss. Alright, so I'll click on each one again so you can get the information. Feel free to pause as I'm going through. Okay. Then we do Fort Tamberlin. Same thing. I will show you the information and then the boss info again pause as we're going along and then hard what you're fighting the information
And then the coastline. Normal first. This is what you're fighting. And then the information. And then the same for hard. What you're fighting again. Keep pausing as you need to. And then we'll do Sea Cave. This is what you're fighting in Sea Cave. And then boss information. Last one, the hard version, is what you're fighting in here. In the info. Keep pausing as you need. Oops, I press home by mistake. I'll go back to dungeon. And then the very hard. The Maca Reactor one is surprisingly easy, just like the other Maca Reactor. Alright, this is what you're fighting. And then the information. And then for the other, very hard. Like I said, I just used a ticket on this one. I just made an auto party and just went in. Because all you can see was the boss. Just like for all these crisis dungeons, all you can see is the boss you're fighting. You can't see the other bosses. So I couldn't set up my team properly. So I just pressed auto and went in. So now I've got the scout information. So the next time I get my tickets, I can go back in and clear it properly. Alright. That's all the boss information for the Crisis Dungeons and their immunities and the types of attacks that they do. Now another critical thing is, before you start running these, you want to make sure your summon growth tree. So if I go to the growth tree and I go click on summons, you will scroll down as one of your requirements. Clear Crisis Dungeon at the coast normal. You need to make sure you have this uh, unlocked before you start running them. So make sure you got your uh, all three of your summons unlocked. So then these can be completed. Because if you decide to only just stick with Ifrit and not do the first fight for Shiva and Ramu, when you go back to do unlock them and you've already run your dungeons, this will say incomplete. So first, make sure you do your first fight of every summon. So just go to your solo content, summon quests. And then just clear Ifrit on normal, Jeeva on normal, Rambu on normal. And then go over in your dungeons. For Ramu, he is a bit of a higher combat power, so you could skip him, but your main two is Ifrit and Shiva. Everyone should be able to do those on normal pretty easily. But people that are struggling, you can skip Ramu for now and come back to it, and just use one of your free tickets. But, that is it for everything in terms of Crisis Dungeons. Uh, for all the information that I showed you with the on the crisis versions for the normal, hard and very hard. So with the, the bosses that you're fighting and the bosses information, I will be putting all this up on my Discord so you can quickly re-access the information for each crisis dungeon you're going through rather than, rather than having to come back to this video every time. I will leave a link to my Discord channel below and I stream regularly every day. Mondays are always set for community farm day. So when the co-op medals reset on the Sunday night, the Monday stream 
I spend like 10 to 12 hours and we run co-op content and farm out co-op medals. So if you're interested in joining that part of the community day, always swim by on Mondays. Other than that, thank you very much for tuning in and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye bye.